Hi, my name is Joel and I stream on the Flippin' Out YouTube channel. Uh, today I wanted to record a quick tutorial on Stranger Things by Stern Pinball. This happens to be the premium model that I will be playing. Um, the goal is to continue to make these tutorials with games that Zach and Nicole let me stream. Uh, but what I will say is I'm not an expert. I will share everything I know about the game, but I guarantee I will forget something. So help me out, leave a comment below with whatever I forget or whatever you found helpful. I would really appreciate it. So we can all learn together, it'll be great. So let's start with just basic layout, shots and layout. Um, your normal two in lane or in lane out lane on both sides, nothing crazy. You can light a uh, ball save, which is that insert. You do that by hitting enough of the burn it back shots. So from left to right, you have this scoop. Um, that is how you activate 2x scoring, which you can see that insert there. That scoop, once there, will eject somewhere over here. It depends on the game. Sometimes you might get lucky and it goes all the way around there, but that is very much game to game on where that ejects. This left shot, which looks like an orbit, is actually a ramp shot. It's, it's one of my favorite shots in the game. It's incredibly satisfying. There's a spinner there, which is awesome. But what I will tell you is you gotta hit that shot clean because otherwise you're gonna go about halfway up and it's gonna come right back down. The left ramp is a tricky one. In a perfect world, it goes like that. But there is definitely a difference between the pro and premium model. On the premium model, there's the TK lock, which is right back here on the wall. Um, how a ball locks up on that TK lock, which is a magnet, is there's a little ramp that pops up. If the ramp pops up, do not attempt to backhand that ramp. It is not gonna happen. That ramp is gonna pop up, it's gonna go like that, and it's gonna come right back down and probably drain. So you need to be aware of whether or not you've lit the lock. To light lock, you have two little stand-ups here. You can see the green inserts right in front of them will let you know whether or not you've hit them. And then this triangle right there will be the solid green. If it's solid green, that means when you hit that ramp, it is going to try to lock the ball with the magnet on the back wall. So if that's the case, don't backhand it. Go at it from the right flipper and it should lock that ball, no problem. If lock is not lit, backhand it all day, not a problem. If you're playing on a pro, backhand it all day. It's way safer than going at it with the right flipper. But it is very fun to do. It's fun to see those balls lock up on the left ramp. This shot right here is how you kind of do the mystery, your extra ball, your demo dog attacks. Um, it basically hits a stand up back here and then it hits a saucer and kind of spits out over here. So it's a stop shot, like it stops the ball and then it spits it out. You have four drops in the middle. One of them happens to be down right now. Those are very dangerous. Avoid hitting them at all costs. There are some modes that you have to hit them. You have to hit them down to attack the Demogorgons. Um, but once you hit them down, there's actually two um, targets behind it. And then there's a hole. And that's how you start the attacks on the Demogorgon. The ball will go this way and then spit out to the left. This is the burn it back shot. It's a quick loop. You have to hit that so many times. And that's how you light your first extra ball. That's also how you light 2x scoring, which is this. And that's also, I'm pretty sure, how you light your um, outlane ball save. Right ramp, I find it to be the hardest shot in the game. Uh, I cannot backhand it. I've never been able to backhand it on any of the versions of the game I've played, but I do know some people can backhand that shot. It is a nice shot. It feels good when you hit it, uh, but you just got to find it. You got to find that shot. And the right, the right shot over here, it feels like an orbit, but it's not. There's two pop bumpers back here. The ball is going to go back there, pop around a little bit, and that's that shot. And then there are targets around the play field, and I can, it spells, there's one here, D. E, M, O, D, O, and then this one, which isn't even facing the flipper. It's right, it's that direction. That is how you spell demo dog. That's how you do the demo dog modes. So we will talk about that when we get there. So there's your basic shots and layout. Let's talk about, I'm thinking we're gonna go with three M's. I, I swear I've heard this somewhere else, and if I have, I super apologize, but we're gonna go with modes, multi-ball, and memorable moments or milestones? I don't know, if you think of a better alliteration, leave it in the comments, but uh, we're gonna just try to remember that together. So to start with modes, there are 12 modes in the game. If you look right here, there's six modes there. Those are those inserts and six modes there. Those correspond to season one and season two. So all season one over here, all season two over there. If you also, also look at the inserts, orange inserts on this side, yellow inserts on that side. So all of season one on the left side, all of season two on the right side. So to start a mode, you're going to hit one of the main shots three times. And you can see how many times you've hit it by the inserts in front of the shot. So to explain that a little more, we're gonna take a brief 
intermission here with uh, the skill shot. When you start the game, you're gonna see that we have a scrolling arrow on the drop targets. If you hit the scrolling arrow, you plunge into it, boom, that's one of the skill shots. The other skill shot, which is very difficult, is you have to perfectly land the ball over there. There's a third skill shot, the MXV skill shot. I don't know what it is. Leave it in the comments if you do. That's Mike Vinicor's skill shot. He always hides a skill shot in a bunch of Stern games. So let's say I did plunge and I hypothetically landed it perfectly in that scoop. You will see right above me the super skill shot. That's how you start the game. But really what I wanted to show is if you look, we have flashing inserts. That shows on all four of these major shots. We have not hit any of them. So let's go ahead and hit nothing. Let's hit that ramp. What we'll see now is this one solid. That's indicating we hit it one time. So if I hit that again, we've now hit it two times, which makes that solid. If you wanna change your mode, if I hit that ramp one more time, I would be starting Morris code. If I, if I did it over here with the orange shots, I'd be starting bullies. So if you wanna change your mode, you wanna hit it back into the pops. The pop bumpers are what change your modes. You can see, I actually only hit the pop bumper for the yellow side, that one did not change. So we're gonna play Turn Up The Heat. Um, actually, what I wanna show you is by default, if you hit the mystery award, it will give you a shot. That's only for your first two modes. So it gave me that third shot. It realized I needed to do that. When you're playing a season two modes, the mode shots are gonna be yellow. When you're playing a season one mode, the mode shots are gonna be orange. So they definitely tell you what to do. You can see at the very top of the LCD screen, a red progress bar based on shots. Um, the projector on the Pro and Premium also do a really good job telling you what to do or what to hit. Make sure when you're hitting ramps that you scroll the insert lights so you fill them up. If you do a mode perfectly, every mode has like a perfect way to beat the mode. Um, oh, and now I have to hit over here then whoops. if you happen to complete the mode perfectly, you will get two, uh, what is it, letters? You're gonna see it right here, two drawings, two drawings. I actually don't know how I'm supposed to do that perfectly. I thought I did, I only got one drawing. So many drawings, you get an extra, bo extra ball and it also goes towards points for the final wizard mode. So I have done one yellow, yellow mode. If I hit this shot over here two more times, that's how I start my next mode. So you just slowly work your way through there and get, get all the modes done. Upside down, this is a hurry up. You can see the UV light kick kicked on. Upside down number one. And the upside down base is, is, I'm pretty sure is based off switch hits. So to do the upside down this one, you have to hit those drop targets. Super dangerous, avoid them at all costs. But that is beating the upside down. Um, there are, upside down will happen randomly throughout the game, which is very, very cool. That's about it for modes. All you need to know is, um, you, once you complete three modes, extra ball will be lit on the, uh, on the mystery shot here. You can see it's lit, boom. That's how you get through that. Otherwise, when you get through all four modes, like I can't start another mode on this, on this ramp. That ramp is done. Once you've done all four modes, that's how you start your mini wizard mode, which is total isolation, which is pretty cool. Um, look down here. There are six lights. One of them is five way combo. You technically have to do all six lights to get to final showdown. So the reason I had five-way combo is because I was just throwing the ball up the ramps. Um, send it back means you've played all six of season one. Light the fire means you've played all six of season two. TK multiball. Let's talk about multiball. To do multiball, step one, you light lock. So I've already hit that target. So let's hit that one. Now lock is lit. You can see the green arrow. You're gonna throw the ball into a target. No, you're gonna throw the ball up. My ramp came up and my ball is now stuck with a magnet on the back wall, which is pretty cool. So to do it again, I, by default, it's already lit. Um, but TK, TK lock number two, you actually have to relight the lock targets every single time. So the third time that I shoot this shot, it's going to start my multi-ball. When you're in multi-ball, you're gonna see blue shots. I also started a mode. So my orange shot for this one is my mode. Um, let's get that mode. So follow the compass actually moves. So my orange shot is now over here. If you wanna change where the compass is, you hit your spinner. Your spinner will change where that orange shot is. So I know for this one, the way you get two uh, letters or two drawings 
is you never change where the where the orange arrow is. Uh, but for this for this um, multi ball, you hit so many blue shots. They say jackpot. Then double jackpots on the left. Otherwise, you can hit this first, and then oh, that's how it resets. That's right. Otherwise, you cash out your jackpot on the left. We beat that mode. So um, there we go. We're just hitting blue shots. Nothing crazy. Just a multi ball to help you get through the modes. Um, that's it for the main TK multi ball. Other things to do in the game. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, TK multi ball. So other memorable moments. Let's get through that. Right up here in the middle. This is all dedicated to this bad boy, the Demogorgon. What you have to do is you have to hit down the drops. Once you've hit down the drops, you see that big flashing red arrow and the music's changed. If you hit up there, come on. That's how you start the Demogorgon attack. So this is your memorable moment. You can see the light show is pretty awesome. The ramp comes down, he's screaming at you. Um, you will see a progress bar right above me, uh, the, the yellow. That progress bar is basically hits that you have to do to him. So every hit damages him a little bit. Um, if you hit him in the mouth, if you bob him perfectly in the mouth, boom, he's gone. I will also tell you your, your lockdown bar is lit by default, um, and that's an instant kill. You can only do that one time per game. So if we just look real quick, you don't even have to look at the screen. If you just look at inserts, I'm one shot away from starting a mode over there. I'm one shot away from starting a mode over there. This is the mode that I would start. That would be the other mode that I would start. Once you do three modes, extra ball will be lit. Um, your fourth mode is how you get into total isolation. Other things I want to show you, Dima Dog. If you spell D-E-M-O-D-O, -O, the only one I've missed is G, you light Dima Dog attack. Demo Dog Attack, if you hit back there, that's what I just started. Um, Demo Dog Attack is all about target hits. So you want to continue to hit those targets over and over again. This mode is challenging. It, it basically locks you out from doing pretty much anything else. Um, what I will say is you can work on progress for like burn it back shots. That's how you get your... Um, your um, extra ball, so you see right there, light three more for extra ball. Otherwise, you can work on trying to attack the, um, the Demogorgon. Um, or you can actually try to play the mode, but as you can see, to get back to that O shot, super dangerous. Um, but yeah, this is how I, I would get into my second Demogorgon battle. Second Demogorgon battle is two Demogorgons. Um, what I wanna show you here is First one, I'm just gonna hit my lock button. Boom, that killed the first one, gone. I can only do that once per game though. And then I have to bop him a handful of times. This is a two ball multi ball though. So you can start this while in a mode. So if you're smart, you'll use that to, towards your, to your advantage to get through the mode. So that was me hitting in the mouth. That's two Demogorgons gone. Um, that might be about it. What I will say is, um, Things to work on would be your five-way combo. You got to do all six of these things to get the final showdown. So five-way combo, uh, you got to string five awesome shots together. TK lock, pretty easy. You just got to start it once. This one right here, send it back, means you've played all of season one's mode. Light the fire means you've played all of season two's mode. Demogorgon means you've played all five Demogorgons. And then Demodog means you've played all three Demodogs. If you can do all those things, boom, you're good to go. Do be aware of the two times X score uh, uh, scoring. That happens when you hit enough burn it back shots. You can start that. It's worth double the points. Otherwise, basically the way you're going to get through the game is you're going to do all four modes, total isolation. Once you're through there, all four modes again, total isolation two. And then you're going to do two modes on one side to do a wizard mode, two modes on the other side to do a wizard mode. That means you've done all, all you've done both of those. So all 12 modes. And then you got to make sure you've hopefully gotten through Demodog and the door, get Demogorgons on the way. You will definitely have done T, uh, TK Lock at some point or TK Multi Ball. And then you got to get that five way combo. It's a very hard game, but it's a very fun game. It's very immersive. I think it's relatively easy to understand. I love the inserts because it tells you what to do rather well. And um, yeah, hopefully that explained a lot. If I forgot anything or missed anything, leave it in the comments. Um, but yeah, go enjoy this game. Both the pre Pro and Premium are awesome, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the topper up there in the upper corner. Um, so yeah, have a great time.